फिर यू डॉक्टर साहेब और असलकुम आई डोंट नो आई थिंक दिस माइट बी अ फेक आई डी ऑफ डॉक्टर होली स्पिरिट साहेब बिकॉज डॉक्टर होली स्पिरिट साहेब ही हैज़ अ सन फ्लावर ऑन हिज आई डी ब्रदर अहमद इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम अप एंड मे बी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट मिर्जा गुलाम का आदि यानी फील फ्री टू ज्वाइन बिकॉज अलहमदुल्ला वी हैड डॉक्टर होली स्पिरिट साहब आई हैव टू ड्रॉप यू ऑफ कॉन्ट हेयर यू एट ऑल मे बी इट्स योर आई जस्ट म्यूट यू राइट नाउ एंड योर नेम इज डॉक्टर होली स्पिरिट साहब अदरवाइज आई एज्यूम दैट दिस इज अ फेक आई डी इफ यू कुड मे बी राइट समथिंग इन द कमेंट्स दैट वुड बी ग्रेट एंड ब्रदर अहमद इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कम अप एंड डिफेंड मिर्जा गुलाम का यानी फील फ्री टू ज्वाइन बिकॉज अहमदी क्लरिक्स दे आर टू स्केर टू डिफेंड मिर्जा गुलाम का दैट्स द सैड रियालिटी दे नो दैट मिर्जा गुलाम का दियानी इज डिफेंसलेस मिर्जा गुलाम का दियानी इज पर्सनैलिटी इज डिफेंसलेस एंड ही कैन नॉट बी डिफेंडेड एट ऑल एंड एंड दैट्स द मेन थिंग राइट एंड दैट इज वाई वी एस मुस्लिम उम्मा हैव कंक्लूडेड दैट जमात अहमदिया हैव एब्सोलूटली नथिंग टू डू विद इस्लाम डॉक्टर सैयद साहिब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू speak unmute your mic and maybe speak because i want just want uh, assalam alaikum barrister sahab with my eye yes yeah, so wa alaikum assalam weren't able to hear you dr sahib no no the, i think the uh, mic was muted so that's the reason you couldn't hear what, what what's your topic today uh, today's 26th may dr holy spirit oh, sahab yes, you yes, can yes. make your guesses what the topic is Yeah, yeah, the death of F N D. Exactly. So uh, he died a miserable death. And I'm sure you must have told uh, the entire story of his, the way he died. Actually, yeah, his death. Your voice is not, Doctor Sab, exactly clear. I think there is some issue with your. Uh, is it clear right now? Yes, it's a lot better now. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. So the death of uh, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was, according to the death of cursed people, as it's narrated in Holy Quran. So uh, there, there's a lot to be said. I mean, what did you say? If I, you uh, tell me what you want, there, there's lots of things because there are various aspects of his death. Which aspect were you talking about? uh dr holy spirit sir i've talked about his dead body what happened on the night of 25th may and then uh, what is written in siratul mahdi al badr newspaper hayat e nasir i i have tried to cover everything which i could which i knew at least uh, the event uh, the night of death actually he died in lahore and i'm sure you have read from there are various references to his death and uh, the whole thing started around 8 o'clock and they say he died around 10 o'clock next morning and then he was moved his body that, that's the event of his death and the people say that he passed away in a toilet actually the place was worse than a toilet in toilet there is a drainage system however there was an arrangement of passing stools which uh, according to uh, their own book called Siratul Mahdi he passed eight or nine stools at that night one after another and when he passed last two stools he wasn't able to sit down on the floor where the arrangement was made he fell on his bed and all his feces were wrapped around his body and he was drenched in his own feces before he died so i'm i'm sure you have told all these events and this is one aspect of his death and in quran it says aus billahi minash shaitanir rajim that surah inam verse 93 wa man aslamu mimman iftara ala allah kaziba अल्लाह काजिबन अलैया वलम यून सलाफी 
wal malaikatu basitu aydihim akhriju anfusakum al yawma tujzawna azab al hune bima kuntum taquluna ala allah ghayr al haqq wa kuntum an ayatihi tastakbirun so this is the verse which is written about the death of the people who claim to be the fake prophets and this particularly the this verse was sent because in the life of muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, there were some claimants of prophethood who were fake and the rasul pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself uh, told and uh, all the muslims that they were fake and they treated them as they should have been treated so the, i'll read the translation of this verse it says uh, who will be more clu- cruel than the person who tells lie on allah subhanahu wa taala or the one who just give me a second i i'll just open up the verse because uh, i mostly read from my memory and uh, if i open the verse i'll be able to translate it for you in english uh, just give me a second mashallah doctor sahib uh, holy spirit sahib i think it's good for us to have insight in regards to what quran says about the false claimants of prophethood as well and what sort of end they are going to have after they have spent uh, their lives in the earth spreading fitna and deceiving muslims all uh, all around the world and alhamdulillah even yeah. quran sharif guides us on that mashallah i'm very glad hearing this as well uh, yes this is the verse 93 waman aslamu mimman iftara ala allah kafiba aw qala uhiya ilayya wa lam yuha ilayhi shay'un shay'un wa man qala sa'untila misla ma antala allah so it means that who does more wrong than the one who fabricates lie who fabricates lies against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or claims i have received revelations although nothing was revealed to him you see that that's what the mirza qadiani was he said oh uh, the wahi comes to me ilham comes to me allah subhanahu wa taala says this is the man who says i have received revelation although nothing was revealed to him or the one who says i can reveal the like of allah's revelation if you a prophet could only see the wrong doers in the throes of death while the angels are stretching out their hands saying give up your souls today you will be rewarded with the torment of disgrace for telling lies about allah subhanahu wa taala and for being arrogant towards his revelation it's a, such a fitting verse for a person who was the claimant of prophethood and uh, uh, it, it, it can be a very long discussion we can prove that he never received any revelation at all there was no wahi there was no ilham and particularly there was no wahi or ilham towards this man according to islam you know for a person to be a prophet of uh, in the line of ibrahim alaihi salatu wassalam progeny or like muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam there should be a wahi a nabuwwat what they call the revelation of prophethood no one can be a prophet and no one has ever been a prophet without wahi a nabuwwat the revelation of prophethood that is only brought by hazrat ibrahim alaihi salatu wassalam no one else can bring wahi a nabuwwat wahi a nabuwwat is a special kind of fiqh it's a fiqh uh, in fiqh the wahi a nabuwwat is the initiation of prophethood telling the prophet that he is the prophet of allah 
and that message is brought by Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. Mirza Qadiani Murtad was such a liar that in his books he says, Wahiya Nabuwat or the coming of Jibreel alayhi salam is finished after Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of course the Nabuwat is finished. However, afterwards when the people questioned Mirza Qadiani Murtad, that you cannot be a prophet without a wahi and nabuat, without the revelation of the prophethood. So he invented a strange kind of thing that's written in his book. In Urdu language, he wrote, Ayal Aya, or Ungli se Shara Kya, or Nabuat Jariyo. That Ayal came, he pointed with his finger, and the prophethood started. That's what he has written in his book. This is not a revelation, and Ayal is not the name of Muhammad Mustafa, uh, not the name of Hazrat Jibrail al-Aslatuwas. In the footnotes, one of the liars of this Qadiani Murtaddin Jumat has written, oh here Ayals mean Hazrat Jibrail al Even if I believe in the lies of this cult, that it was Ayal means Hazrat Jibrail alayhi salatu wasalam, he never said a word. He never said to Mirza Qadiani Murtad that you are the Prophet of Allah. He has fabricated these things, as the Surah Inam 93 says. He says, This is the person, Waman Aslamu Mimman Iftar ala Allah Kazeban. Aw kala ujiya ilayya walam yuha ilayhi shayun, Waman kala sa unzila misla. Man sallallahu wa lau tara izis zalimuna gamaratil mau. It says, these are the people who says that they have received the revelation. I have received the revelation. Also, nothing has been revealed to them. So this is Mirza Qadiani death is a death of a cursed person. And there are some people, there are some people who are hidden Qadianis. They will tell you, oh, why are you talking about the death of a person? They have never read the Quran. They have never known what the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will is. You must talk about the death of a person who is a liar and who is a cursed one like Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. Because if you will not talk about his death, then you will deny the Quran. Quran says, وَمَنْ أَسْلَمُ مِمَّنْ اِفْتَرَ عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا and you see the wrongdoers in the throes of the death. Allah is asking you that Walau Tara is this Solemuna fi Gamaratil Mouth. Wal Malay Katuy Basetu Aidihim Akhreju Anfosakum. When the angels are stretching out their hands, saying, give up your souls, today you will be rewarded with the torment of disgrace. The death of a liar is a death of a disgrace. It's not only the Muslims say that, but also everyone who knows about Mirza Qadiani knows that he died one of the most disgraced deaths. And being, they, people can be ill, but they are not the, uh, they lie peacefully, they die peacefully. I have seen thousands of people, unwell people dying, they die peacefully, they are never drenched in their stools, they were never saying those things which have been said. They, there has never been a, I have never seen the stools spilling around their bed, I have seen thousands of people die. In front of my eyes, they died. They died peacefully. They were not prophets. They were the decent people, ordinary people. And someone who is the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his death is a glorified death. It is a tradition that before a prophet passes away from this world, he is asked whether he wants to leave this world or not. Look at the death of this man. He was taken away as dragged, and I'm sure uh, in the event of your, uh, the uh, details of his death, it's written very clearly. That when seven 
time he opened his bowl, he fell on his uh, uh, bed where he was lying down. His head was struck on the wooden part of the bed very strongly. And they say after he had hit his head and it was hit by the angels. That's what the Basetu, uh, the word Basetu Aidihim, that they stretch out their hand. They take their, them, they take their life in the most disgraceful way. That's what happened with the Mirza Ghulam Qadi and his head was struck and it's written in this book that after that he never spoke and his condition became worse than worse after that. So this death was one of the most cursed death and uh, this is one aspect of uh, Mirza Ghulam Qadiani death, that how he died, what were the actual events. And actually, I just heard somebody, I think you were asking, there was an inje injection was given to him in his chest, actually below the left nipple. And there were about uh, two, three doctors who saw him. One was Dr. Ismail, one was Dr. Yaqub, was the other name. Then there was a Dr. Sutherland. Uh, who was the principal King Edward Medical College or one of his colleagues came because where he died uh, it is hardly half a mile from King Edward Medical College and those days uh, those doctors used to live in there their, their accommodations still exist there and uh, King Edward Medical College is with the Mayo Hospital is within the same boundary so they could have just walked in 10, it's a 10, 15 minutes walk from King Edward Medical College and the Mayo Hospital to the Brandreth Road where this cursed man died. So they saw him, the injection was of adrenaline. That was uh, in ninth, early 20th century, the adrenaline was in use. And uh, mostly there were two, three ways that injection could have been given. and. Until today, when we, when the doctors do resuscitation process, five milligram of uh, adrenaline injection is repeatedly given in certain situation if the criteria is filled. And the purpose of it is to restart the heart. It's a stimulant. Uh, it acts on the sinoatrial node. It's one of the areas in the heart and it stimulates it. But in the beginning of the 20th century, when the adrenaline was just one of the new drugs, uh, the doctors were giving it two ways. One way of giving it was to give subcut subcutaneously, as the Mirza Qadiani was given below his left nipple, and they would give at least one to two ml of this medication. And let me tell you, if you give it to a normal healthy person, he will die of bleeding or uh, after one ml of adrenaline, pure adrenaline, and uh, nobody can survive. The adrenaline 5 ml is given, it's 1 in 10,000. It is diluted 10,000 times before it is injected into the heart. But in early 20th century, they were not diluting it uh, enough. Second way of giving the adrenaline was that uh, there is an intercostal spaces, you know, the spaces between the ribs. And the third or fourth intercostal space, uh, if you inject the needle it goes directly into the heart where that particular node called sinoatrial node is there and still some doctors in outside europe inject the medication in that particular area and it actually goes inside the heart and directly try to stimulate the things but apart from this uh, what wasn't done in the earlier 20th century i don't know why didn't they do it they were pro probably trying to bring up the blood pressure of Mirza Qadiani because they thought his heart is beating, but his uh, blood pressure was not up to the mark. There were multiple reasons because this cursed man suffered from schizophrenia and he suffered from uh, diabetes mellitus and he was a very mentally unstable kind of person and the, one of the hallmarks of those conditions particularly of long-standing diabetic people. They have got the autonomic neuropathy, one of the medical conditions in which uh, you get the low blood pressure as well as it's the cause of diarrhea because it affects the intestine where there is a special nervous system called myenteric nervous system. 
So it affects those nerves and uh, on one hand, if it is the vascular structure, they would give the low blood pressure and the other hand, when intestines are concerned, they give the diarrhea. So that, that's a very technical discussion. Uh, many people won't even understand what I'm trying to say. But the end of the day, they try to bring up his blood pressure rather than to start his uh, heart. Because the reason I say they tried to bring up his blood pressure in a hope that he, his heart output or the pumping quality of his heart will improve, which didn't. If the, they would have given it to restart the heart, then the procedure is called CPR. Uh, CPR is the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's the short form of cardiopulmonary resuscitation in which you must have seen in the TV that they compress your hearts and then they actually give the artificial mouth-to-mouth breathing or with the embu bag breathing to those people. So none of this process was done. On that grounds, I assume, the sole reason Dr. Sutherland or one of his colleagues gave him the adrenaline uh, subcutaneously was to bring up his blood pressure. But it didn't come up. So their decision probably was right not to resuscitate him and he died at the end of the day. And his death was uh, absolutely a cursed death. I've never known any decent man dying the way the Mirza Khadiani Murtad has died. And the other aspect of his death which people need to know is that he died as a result of multiple professes of the people who were real Muslim people. Uh, one of them was Mulana Sanaullah Amrasari. The other one was Mulana Ghaznavi, who prophesied. Actually, he had a kind of a manasra with Mulana Ghaznavi that's famously known as Eid Ga Manasra, because it was done in an Eid, in a ground which was called Eid Ga. So it's known as Eid Ga Manasra, and Mulana Ghaznavi said, that he will die in his lifetime, the one who will be a liar will be a dead in the lifetime. The same, he, Mirza Qadiani asked for his death when he wrote a big letter, and I've got that letter, we will show it today at some point. Uh, Mulana Sanawla Amrasari, uh, he said to him that the one who will be a liar, he will die in the life of the truthful person. And Mulana Sanawla Amrasari died many, many years after Mirza Qadian. And uh, uh, he actually died in uh, Sargoda after the um, creation of Pakistan in 1948, if I remember correctly. Whereas Mirza Qadiani Murtad died 40 years before him. He lived nearly 40 years after the death of Mirza Qadiani. It's written in that. Uh, uh, ishtiar or advertisement with the Mirza Qadiani Murtad published it and uh, distributed all over the place that the one who will be a liar will die in the life of a truthful person and he will die of either plague which is called Taun in Urdu or of cholera which is called Haza. Mirza Qadiani Murtad last words were that he talked, his last uttering of some words was with Nasser Nawab, who was his father-in-law, the father of Nusrat Jahan. Uh, and his words were, Nawab Saab Mujhe Babai Haza Ho Gaya. And the Qadianis are such murtaddeen. Mirza Qadiani learned medicine from his father. All his life he treated people. Actually, uh, he was such a failed physician that he gave, used to give the dangerous uh, chemicals to the people and one of the person complained to the English people and then a letter was published in a very famous journal of medicine which still is in publication in England. It's called the Lancet. And uh, Lancet Journal wrote about Mirza Qadiani Murtad that he was just distributing something which is rather harmful than having any beneficial effects for anyone. So anyway, he knew the purpose of saying is a new medicine. Actually, uh, the cholera, uh, particularly the epidemic cholera, which is called Wobai Haza, was common in those days. And at the time he died, the, the people were having the epidemic cholera, some of them, not all of them in Lahore. It was in the month of May when he passed away, that's 26th of May 
as is today. And this is the weather where the epidemic cholera or the Babai Haza happens. And he said to Nasser Nawab, Nawab Sab Mujhe Babai Haza ho gaya. It's written on page 13 in the old edition and page 14 on the new edition of Hyate Nasser, the life of Na uh, Nasser, because his name was Nasser Nawab. So he admitted. That's why one of the poets said, Vakte Nazajo Aya Tasdike Hakbilaya. Akhri Harakte Iske Haze Me Muktala. He said when he was about to pass away, it, it, the